the Executive Vice Chairman of the Nigerian Communication Commission, Professor Umar Dambata, says the 5G network has no harmful effects on human health. Professor Dambata said this during the budget defense session with the Joint Committee on Communication, ICT and Cybercrimes of the National Assembly. It was headed by Senator Oluremi Tinubu and her House of Representatives counterpart, Honorable Akema Deyemi in Abuja, Ramande. Emmanuel Hijene completes the report. Contrary to reports in some quarters that the 5G is dangerous to humans, the Executive Vice Chairman of Nigerian Communications Commission, Professor Dambata, has allayed all fears. He says the electromagnetic emission from the 5G network has no adverse effect on human health. He added that there is no known scientific evidence to date suggesting that 5G poses any risk to public health and safety. Senator Oluremi Tinubu sought this clarification on the danger or safety of the 5G network at the budget hearing. Uh, EVC speaking, I want you to reassure Nigerians about the safety of this 5G. And there is concern of um, uh, a particular high-risk, uh, extremely damaging malware called Flubot. So maybe you can explain on that so that Nigerians will be assured that, you know, their safety is guaranteed. As for the concerns, you know, by Nigerians about, about 5G, we share these concerns. And we went to great lengths to explain that whereas these concerns, you know, are justified, but the really the facts on the ground, you know, do not really lend credence to these concerns. One we have tried to sensitize Nigerians about the safety of the network, I mean, of the technology itself, the 5G technology. You know, we have sensitized Nigerians even about the spectrum. The 5G spectrum is non-ionizing. You know, this is a, a statement, a categorical statement made by the International Commission for Non-Ionizing Radiation Protection where they say the 5G spectrum, the very one we're about to auction, is perfectly safe. It is not harmful to human beings. You know, and there is no evidence whatsoever, no medical evidence, okay, from the World Health Organization indicating any correlation between this spectrum and the health of citizens, you know, using this service. However, the NCC insists on its 97% readiness for the implementation of the 5G network in Nigeria. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.